Let's uh, start with uh, defining or understanding what polynomials are. So we learned before about, uh, we talked about algebraic expressions. A polynomial is basically just an algebraic expression. And as you know, algebraic is an algebraic expression, meaning this means algebraic expression means combination of numbers and letters. Combination of uh, variables and numbers. Numbers are also called constants. That's what an algebraic expression is. A polynomial is just a type of uh, these algebraic expressions with some restrictions. So polynomial has some restrictions over this. Those uh, restrictions, so polynomial is an object expression, but without, without a couple of things. Uh, negative powers. Okay, so polynomial does not have negative powers. We cannot have, for example, x to the power of negative three. Uh, also, the negative powers without variables in the denominator. For example, um, you wouldn't see x like this in the denominator or y, okay? So no variable, no x here, the x should be up. And the third case is um, no radicals. Or fractions as powers. This means you wouldn't see something like this. For example, two radical x, you wouldn't see something like this, or uh, x or y to a power that's, for example, a fraction, for example, one half. So polynomial does not have any of these. So if an expression has uh, one or more of these, then it's not a polynomial, it's just an algebraic expression, okay? So a polynomial is very specific. It does not have these, these things in it. Um, let's see some examples. There is one polynomial and there is another one. Also this one here. Okay, so let's do a couple of examples here to understand uh, the definition of polynomials. Again, all these are algebraic expressions, but only some of them are polynomials. Polynomials, again, don't have these, these uh, powers like these or terms. So let's start with the first one here. Is this a polynomial or not? Yes, it's a polynomial. Yes. That's right, it's a polynomial. It doesn't have any of this. No negative powers, x in the denominator radical. So this is a polynomial. Next one. Is not that no. no. That's right, no, because? It has the negative power. No, that's, that's right. negative. It has negative power, and we should not have a negative power. So 
This is not a fun no meal. Next one. No. Yes. Yes, yes, sorry. There's no negative power, sorry. That's right. There's no negative power, no, no X in the denominator, or a radical. Call of is two, call of is one. So yes, this is fine. Which is a polynomial on this one here. <clears throat> no. That's right, because it has um, a fraction the y in the that's right. There is a variable in the denominator like this. So this mm -hmm. is not a polynomial. Then we have <clears throat> Yes. Oh. Yes. Exactly. Yes. It doesn't have any yes. problem. It doesn't have any of this, so this is okay. Finally, this one. No. No. Right. It has a lot going on. It's a radical. It shouldn't have a radical. It has a fraction as a power. So polynomials are pretty much easy. All the powers are zero, one, two, three, four, five. Whole numbers basically. There's no negatives, as you can see here. Uh, no fractions. Or decimals whatsoever just regular uh, things so this is not a polynomial okay, so um that's uh, pretty much what a polynomial is now we have see types types of polynomials we have names for polynomials based on how many terms sometimes you may have one two three Two, uh, or two terms or one or more. It's so based on the number of terms uh, we can name polynomials. So uh, for one term, it's called a, mo a monomial. Monomial, example, uh, let's say Two x to the third, just one term, not three, not three like this one. We call it monomial. Uh, you may also have two terms. In that case, we call it binomial. Binomial. The example we can say x to the second plus five x. Okay, so that has two terms. Uh, you may have three terms. Trinomial. That's right. In that case, it's called trinomial. So mono by trinomial. Just like this one, for example, has three terms, so that's a trinomial. Example, um, x to the third minus 5x plus 1. And anything more than that, if you have more than three, we call that... Than, what is it? Polynomial. That's right. So more than three, that would be called a poly. Poly is a prefix that means many. Poly means many. Mono means one. Those are Greek prefixes. By uh, means two. two. And try three. Poly means many. many. So we can say polynomial. Basically, uh, anything more than three terms. Okay, so these are the names of polynomials based on uh, the number of terms they have. Okay, so these are called terms, term, 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 and so on. So let's uh, talk about terms. or term, one of these, for example, five x is third. The term is made of three, uh, three things. Basically we have, of course, a variable. In addition to that, there's a power. And also uh, a leading number here. 5x, we have some multiplication here. So this is called the coefficient, the leading coefficient or simply the coefficient. It's basically the numbers that's multiplied by the variable. Okay, so this is a variable term. This is a variable term because it has a variable. And 
fencing times a term may not have a letter or a variable. For example, this one here. That's a constant term, for example, positive one. This is a constant term. It just no variable, just that. Okay, that's also uh, a, a polynomial with one term. So that's one term. Um, so a polynomial could be just this, for example. One by itself is a polynomial, or you may have these two together, or three or four. So it could be a variable term, could be just a number, positive or for example, negative seven, that's also a term. Uh, polynomial could have just one constant term like this. Okay, so the power here is three. The power of this, since this one doesn't have a variable, so the power is zero. So x, think of it as x to the power of zero. There's no, no power. This one has three. Um, also, sometimes terms kind of look like this. Let's look at this one here, negative x. So that, that kind of looks like this. So first of all, the variable, the variable is x, obviously. What is the power of this variable? One. That's right, there's an invisible one. Now, what is the uh, coefficient of this? The coefficient here is five. What's the coefficient of this term? One. Not exactly one, but? It's negative one. Negative one, sorry. Negative, an negative one there, so that's the coefficient. Equals one, negative one. Okay, so x is the variable, the power is invisible. The coefficient is also invisible, which is negative one. Or if you have this, that would be the variable would be x power would be one. What's the coefficient? One. Also one, it's an invisible one. It's important to know these coefficients because we need them when we add two polynomials together and basically combine the coefficients like these. That's what a polynomial is. It's just an algebraic expression without this. And based on the number of term, we can name polynomials. And a term could be variable, or could be constant. Constant doesn't change, just that specific number. The variable term may change depending on the value of x. Um, now, uh, we also have degree. So this is a term. So each term has a power, and the degree, degree of a polynomial is basically from the terms. So the degree is the highest um, degree of a poly is the highest is the highest power of all the terms. Okay, so each term has a power, for example, three, two, one, one. The the, the power here of this one is zero. You can think of it as x to the power of zero because x to the power zero is a one, so it's insignificant. So what is the degree of this polynomial? Three. That's right, the highest power of all, not the coefficient, but the power. That's the degree of the polynomial, the whole polynomial. Each term has a degree, but the degree of the polynomial is the highest one. Okay, so the highest power of all. For example, so the degree here is? Two. That's right, two. And it may also be x to third plus five x to the fourth minus one. The degree is? Four. Four, that's right, the highest one. What about this monomial here, let's say negative eight, just one term. What is the degree? One. So the degree is not the power of the, the coefficient is the power of the variable. Since you don't have a variable, so the degree is? Um, zero. Like zero, okay, the degree is zero. So this one is the same as 
as this, because this one is one, negative eight times one would be negative eight. So the degree it is zero. Because constant term, there's no uh, variable. But if you want to put a variable, it's, it's okay to put this. It's invisible. Uh, it does not change because that's one. So that's a degree, um, okay, term, coefficient. So remember all these terms. The homework may ask you to identify coefficient, identify the power, the degree, the name of the polynomial, and so on. All right, now let's see how to add polynomials, two or more. Any questions so far, everybody? I have one question. Why, why is the, the X alone, why is it the power zero as opposed to one? What is it? The, um, the X. Mm -hmm. The power is zero as opposed to one? Uh, for this one here? Yeah. So for any number, let's say you have seven, right? Mm -hmm. You can also say seven X to the power zero. Okay, because this is insignificant, you say seven, and we know that X to the power zero is one. Okay, so any number to the power zero as we learned before is one. So if you can say X to the power zero is one, seven times one is seven. seven. Okay. All right, so that's why we say uh, it's power zero. Now let's see uh, how to add polynomials. Professor, yep. the second one right there, um, the degree. Um, I thought we had to put the highest one. Isn't the highest one four? Oh, oh yes, that's right. We said four here, right? I don't know why I wrote two, but I was saying four as I was writing two. It's the highest power. When you say the highest power, that mean that a big number, right? The, yes, the highest power here is the degree. Okay, the degree of this polynomial is two. The degree of this is four. And the degree of this one, since it doesn't have variables, so remember that the degree is zero. Okay, so that's the degree of a polynomial. All right, any other questions, everybody? No. All right, let me... Why in the X um, limit to the highest third plus five X for less one? Um, we have, um, did we have, uh, we don't have any exponent and the highest power. I mean, we just have four. Mm -hmm. How do we uh, eliminate the two X? Um, I'm sorry, which, which, are you talking about these or another? Uh, X um, elevate in the highest power three plus five, <clears throat> X to four less one, minus one. The second one, that, that, yeah, that one. This one here? Yes. Okay, so the power here is three, the power here is four. We take the highest or the higher power. So we have four here. That's the degree, okay? The degree is the highest power. Here we have two, one. There's no degree here, it's zero. So we take the highest one. For this one, you have three, you have two, you have one, you have zero. So the highest one is three. So uh, the result will be the highest one. Yeah. 
We don't have to do anything with the with the letters. No, no. Uh, the, through the letters, yes. So the highest of the letters, so the highest power. Okay. That's the degree. Okay. So let's move on to one second. Let me go. So we're going to talk about the um, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division of. Uh, Just one second. Is Boba Car here? No, Abdur. Couple of students trying to log in. Let me just email them quickly. <coughs> oh, where is the students? Abdul, Abdul, are you here yet? Abdur? Yes, I'm here. Oh, okay, you got it? You got the link on the blackboard? Yeah, because I have a small problem with internet. Now it's good. All right, that's good. There's another student still not here yet. Just one moment. All right, so let's continue talking about polynomials. So now we're gonna talk about addition. Addition and subtraction. Okay, so when you have two polynomials, let's say two x to the third minus four uh, x plus one, you can find the sum of two polynomials, sum of, for example, this and uh, x to the second. Or rather x to the third. Okay, so when we have two polynomials or more, we can uh, sum them up, we can add them, and result is a new polynomial. So all you do is, just like we did earlier uh, in our previous lecture with, with the algebraic expression, we just combine the two by combining like terms. So the first one plus, so sum means we're adding, plus the other one, Okay, so now uh, we can combine like terms like these. So 2x to the third plus 4x to the third. Those are like terms. 
So basically when you combine, we have to have the same variable and the same power. So when you add or subtract them, you're basically just combining the coefficients. So two x to the third plus four x to the third is gonna combine the two on the four, so it'll be six x to the third. Okay, and then we're gonna combine this one. Do we have a, a like term to this one? Similar term? No, so they are different. No, we have this one, we have x, we have x, these are similar. So negative four x plus five. Positive one x. One x. Three x. Okay, that's one. And then we have, finally, we can combine these two numbers. Positive one, negative two, just negative. negative. That's how easy it is to uh, pretty much add uh, polynomials. So combine like terms. So look for the same variable, same power these two together and then these two also together. I mean this one, one and negative two. Okay, so um, let's do another example. Uh, this time let's say three x to the second. Okay, so we have this trinomial, we want to add it to this binomial. So first you want to write all the terms. So this one plus 4x minus 3. 4x plus 3 or minus or 3? Plus 3. Okay, and then combine like terms. So do we have a similar no. term to this one? No. 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 Okay because it has power two, so just write it down. Then, do we have a similar term to this one? Yes. yes. X and X, those are together, so we can say negative five plus four, so negative five plus four is? Negative one, negative negative one, negative one X. Okay, and then, negative two plus three? One plus one. That's one. Positive one. That's right, and that's it. Okay, so these cannot be added. These are different powers because power here is two, power is one. So that's it. The answer is just this. Okay, so just combine like terms. Uh, let's write that down. So you just leave out the four x. That's right. So like okay. terms. So the four x was combined with negative five here. Oh, oh that's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. The like terms have same variable. And what else? And the same power. That's right, and power. That's important. Only add when you have the exact same variable, the exact same power. Otherwise, it does not add up. Uh, that's addition. Now let's see subtraction. So let's see a negative five x plus three, and let's say subtract. So subtract this from. 2x minus 1. So what you do is, when you have subtract something from something, so we're going to write this one first. The from goes first. So we're going to say 2x minus 1. Okay? And then subtract the minus. Then the other one. Okay? So this is not a minus, just a star. And the second one has to be in parentheses. Okay, again, subtract this from this. You want to write this one first. And the minus sign for subtraction, because we're subtracting. And the other one, put it inside parentheses. And proceed to simplify. 
Okay, so what do you do first here uh, in order to, to simplify this uh, expression now? What's the first thing you do? To multiply the sign? Okay. Change the negatives into a positive because when two negatives collide, distribute. Exactly. So we distribute first, so it'll be 2x minus 1 plus 5x and negative. Minus three x three. And negative three. That's right. So negative, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. Now we combine like terms. So what do we combine here? Two x plus five. Five x. Exactly. Two x plus five x will be. Seven x. Seven x. Seven x. Minus four. Negative one. Negative Minus. four. Negative four. And that's all. Okay. So. Uh, remember, it's very important that you get the order right. Subtract this from this. Do not put this one first. This has to be first. If you reverse the order, uh, the thing, um, if you reverse the order, you get different uh, results. So make sure you keep the same order here. There's another uh, type or another uh, form of this question, different words of this question, and uh, that might change the order of operation. So let's uh, let me look up another example. The question may say, instead of saying subtract, you may say something like this. Uh, the difference the difference I would say x to the second minus x plus one and three x to the second plus four x minus two. We have two trinomials. We want to find the difference. What do we mean by the difference? Subtraction. That's right. So difference means to subtract. Same as here. But here, which one goes first of the two polynomials? Last one. Which one goes first? What was, what was the question? The x square. That's right. Uh, so if you have, if it says find the difference, keep the same order, this minus this, no problem. But if it says subtract from, you have to go, the second one should go first. So that's very important. Keep that in mind. So for difference, we're just going to keep the same order. Minus x plus one minus, okay. So because we're, we're subtracting, so we need difference. It's like here we, we said subtract, that's what this minus is for. And when you do that, the second one has to be in parentheses. The second polynomial must be in the parentheses, not necessarily the first one. It's some un un unimportant here. So you're gonna do three x to the second plus four x minus two. Okay, this one first, second. Remember, after the minus, you have to put the parentheses and the second polynomial goes inside the parentheses. Okay, now we're going to distribute first. Um, there should be a minus here. Not negative times positive is negative. Negative times positive is negative, 4x. Then we have negative times negative, which is positive. Positive, 2. Sorry, 2. And combine like terms. So. What do we combine? X2 with what? 3x raised to 2. That's right. Uh, that's right. So we're going to combine these two. What is the coefficient again of this? 
One. We're going to combine one and negative three. Cheers. Negative two. Two x. Very good. So negative two x is. And of course, we're going to combine these two. What is the coefficient here? One. Negative one. Negative one. So we're going to combine negative one and negative four, which will be negative four negative. minus four. Negative. That's right, negative, negative, five. negative 5x. Finally, we have positive 1 plus 2. 3. That's plus 3. And that's it. That's the answer. We have different terms. These are not the same. Don't combine them. The power of h is 2, the power of 1. So they're not similar. They're not similar terms, but we don't have to. So be careful with the subtraction. Uh, you need to know which one goes first. With addition, it doesn't matter which one goes first. You don't need parentheses. Just write Professor. all. Of yes. Professor. Mm -hmm. The last sum right there. Um, I'm not understanding how you got three. Oh, we got three. This three here. Negative three plus two. Uh, let's see. So this one. And this is negative 2, right? We have 1 minus 3 is negative 2. Then we have negative 1 and negative 4. Uh, uh, this one is negative 5. Negative oh, sorry. Five. I'm just seeing the, I'm seeing the um, plus. Plus 3. No. Where is it? So it's come, it came from 1 and 2. If you're asking about that, 1 plus 2 is 3. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. You know what I'm seeing in negative 3 there, 3x squared. Okay. Okay, so that's basically your addition and subtraction of uh, polynomials. Um, now we're going to move on to multiplication. Okay, uh, who is still missing? Probably missing a person here. Me just one second, someone is trying to log in. Bethily, are you here already? Bethily, Bethily, right. Bethily is not here. Just one moment. Uh, let's see. And Bubakar, are you here, Bubakar yet? Bubakar, Bubakar. All right, so still waiting for Bubakar.
Hello. Yep, just one second. Uh, one student is trying to join us. All right, so now the last part of the polynomials will be multiplication. Give me number four. Four here. So uh, when you times two polynomials, let's say, this is where we've already seen this. For example, this and another one. Let's first start with just two monomials. One monomial, another one, you want to times that. So you take 2x to the third, right? You want to times it by the other one. We've seen this before with the, the rules of exponents. What is this equal to? 6x to the seven. That's right, times the coefficients, multiply them, that's six. And we add the two. So we have three plus four, which is uh, seven. So pretty simple. That's what we did with the first rule, actually. The first rule of pro or, or the properties of exponents, we did that. And so the easiest one is monomial times monomial. But sometimes it may be two terms here and two, or maybe three and three, just like this, this times this. It's going to be more of these. It's going to be instead of one multiplication like this, it's going to be either three or four or more of them. So monomial and monomial. Now let's see if you have um, 3x. It's basically a monomial. Let's times this by uh, some binomial. Let's say minus, let's say, 2x. Okay, so now um, I'm gonna write the monomial first, and by that we're gonna t we're gonna times this by, or we're gonna multiply it by these two here. So five x minus two x. So here it doesn't help if you put just a multiplication here. It would only mean this times this. So it actually but actually multiplying this by both. So we need parentheses here. Very important. Okay, so 3x times this. <clears throat> so um, we're gonna distribute basically using the distributive property. So we're gonna times these two first. So 3x times 5x is second. And then the other distribution, so 3x, positive times a negative will be negative, 3x times 2x. Okay, so we distribute. What is this equal to? 15x to the third power. That's right, because the power is invisible one. 15x to the third minus, and over here. 6x to the second power. That's right, we have one, one invisible one, three times two, six. We add the powers. We get two. And that's pretty much it, okay? These are different. Don't add or subtract them because the power here is three, three the power here is two. Uh, there's nothing else we can do. So these are unlike terms. Again, like terms must have the same variable and the power, but these are different. Okay, monomial, monomial. We saw monomial by uh, binomial. Now we're gonna see how to multiply two by two, so two terms by two terms, binomial by binomial. That's, for example, minus two and maybe x to second plus five. Okay, that's where it gets a little interesting. So we're gonna write the first one. Okay, and we're gonna times it by x to second plus five, okay? Both of them must be in parentheses. And there is nothing in between here, just 
uh, which means it's a multiplication. So no need to put the multi multiplication there. Uh, this means it's a multiplication if you don't have anything in between the parentheses. So now we're going to have more multiplication. So here we had exactly one. One times one is one. Here we have one times two, which is two. That's why we had two multiplications. How many multiplications are we going to have here? We have two by two. How many multiplications is that? You have four multiplications, okay? Because so we have two terms times two terms. Total would be four multiplications. Um, so we do what we call the the FOIL method, or simply the distributive property. So we're going to multiply that way first. Okay, so it would be so three x times x to the second. Okay, and again, 3x times 5 will be positive. And once we finish with the 3x, we're going to do the same thing with negative 2. We're going to times here and here. Negative 2 times x to the second. And also negative 2 times positive 5. So it's going to be negative. Okay, so you see I have four multiplications, one, two, three, four, because you times two by two. So two times two is four. That's the reason why we have four multiplications here, because two terms times two terms, so you expect four uh, multiplications. Or if you multiply in a trinomial by a trinomial, how many multiplications you would have? Six. More. Trinomial would be three by three, which is? be nine okay nine. You multiply nine. Nine, 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 nine. so you have, you have nine of these instead of four and now it's some I'll just multiply all these all these and simplify so this will be 2x to the third plus 10x minus 2x to the second and 10. <coughs> okay and do we have any like terms to combine? No. There are no like terms to combine, right? So no. That's it. So that's basically our answer. It's better to arrange the powers from the highest to the lowest. Usually this should go first. Still the same expression, but we prefer to arrange them. What is the degree of this uh, polynomial? Three. That's right, three. What's the, uh, based on the number of terms, what is the name of this polynomial? I mean, polynomial. It's polynomial, basically, because it has more than three. So, polynomial. Okay, so that's the answer for this one here. Okay, so it doesn't matter how many uh, terms you have, it's gonna be the same uh, method, basically, we may have one multiplication here, as we saw, or more, depending on how many terms or how many terms the, the polynomials have. Uh, let's do one more here. Let's say three or four x to the third. Let's multiply this monomial by a trinomial. Um, two x to the third minus five x to the second, for example, and plus one. Doing the work. Okay, so the same thing. So let's write those. So for x to the third, this will be multiplied by all of these. So these need to be in parentheses. So we're going to put parentheses like this. Okay, and multiply, and then we'll distribute one, two, and three. So eight x. Okay, eight x to what power? Six. 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 That's right. Okay. Negative. 20x to the fifth power. To the fifth power. Finally. Four. four. X, X to the third. To the fourth. To, the fourth. to what? Third. what? We don't have X here. Just three. Unless you had X. If this was an X to the first okay. power. This is not x, just a constant. Okay. Okay, so that's, so again, like I said, the, 
before the powers, the rules of exponents are very important. So make sure you know those very well. We're going to be using them here uh, quite often. And that's pretty much all for polynomials. Uh, one more example here. You may see something like this, the 2x plus 5 to the second power. It's basically a binomial to the second power. What do you do to multiply this? Multiply by itself. Repeat it twice. That's right. So anything. 2x squared time. Mm -hmm. um, anything to the power. Times 2x. That's right. Just like for example, 3 to the second. 3 to the second means 3 times itself. The base times itself. Same thing here. Something to the second power. So we're going to times that base by itself. The base is this whole thing. So 2x plus 5, 2x plus 5, and we distribute. So now that we have this, we're going to repeat the same process as here. So B, what's 2x times 2x? B4 and? X to the second. That's right. Four x to the powers. Then we have 2x times 5, which is? 10x. 10x. 5 times 2x. 10x. 10x also. Finally, 5 times 5. That's 25. Any like terms to combine? 10x plus 10x. That's right. These two together. So first, this one doesn't have a like term. We write it down. 10 plus 10. 20, so we combine in the coefficient, both positive. They don't cancel out, but if one was positive, the other one was negative, they would cancel out. In this case, they do not. Uh, this plus 25. And that's the answer to that. I have a question. So the x, uh, when you summarize the uh, 10x and 10x, you, we're not, we don't get like x uh, with elevate to the Two exponents. That's only when you multiply, right? I think you add the exponent. Yes, yes. So if you have x, let's say we have x times times x. As we saw before, we add the two. This is x to the second. But if you had x plus x, we don't add the powers. We addition. We don't add the powers. We add the coefficients. So this will be what? One x plus one x will be two x. 2x. So addition, we only combine the coefficient 1 and 1, 2. The power here stays the same. The power 1 stays the same. But when you multiply, that's when the powers add up. So we have 1 plus 1 is 2. And we also multiply the coefficients. So 1 times 1. 1 times 1 is invisible 1 here. Okay, thank you. Okay, so um, that's pretty much your polynomial. So it's very important here. We're going to use uh, these uh, in the future as well with functions and everything.